you may have noticed that most of the elements in the periodic table are metals. All metals have similar physical and chemical properties, but not identical. By looking at a small number of metals, we can investigate how they vary chemically. We will look at zinc, copper, potassium, calcium, iron, lithium, magnesium, and sodium. First, let's look at the results when a small amount of each is dropped into cold water in a test tube. Stop the video to study the results, and then try to rank the metals from most to least chemically reactive. How did you do? From the results, some can be ranked, but others appeared to be the same. Let's rewrite the list. If the experiment is repeated with dilute hydrochloric acid, we can reveal the different chemical reactivity of the metals that have not yet been ranked. And now, rewrite the list again. From these two experiments, we can rank all eight metals in order of chemical reactivity. This is of course a selective list, or else we would need to include over 70 metals. This gives us the reactivity series of metals, many versions of which you will find in books and online. You may already have known that lithium, sodium and potassium were at the top of the list since we store these metals in oil to stop reaction with moisture in the air. When potassium reacts with hydrochloric acids, we get potassium readily loses an electron to form the K-positive ion, whereas when zinc reacts, Zn will form its ion Zn2 positive, but less readily than potassium does. So the series of reactivity is also a list which shows the tendency for metals to produce their positive ions. Don't panic, you don't have to remember this list. You should, however, be able to rank metals if given results of an experiment, and then be able to use the list to answer further questions, such as in explaining displacement reactions. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuscal app as well? Until next time.